So welcome to another uh, episode of um, Beards, Bikes, and, and Booze. I, I'm, I'm Patrick Kelly. Uh, and today we're going to dive into uh, some Irish whiskey. I typically drink Jameson Irish whiskey and two reasons I drink Jameson Irish whiskey, mainly because uh, it's less expensive than most uh, better Irish whiskeys and not to say that Jameson is not a better Irish whiskey. But it's it's thirty to forty dollars, right? Depending on 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 your liquor store or where you're living uh, in in the region of the U.S. or the, or the world, Jameson's very readily available. Uh, so that those are two main reasons why I typically will pick up pick up a, a bottle of uh, of Jameson Irish whiskey. And plus, my friends and I typically like to do shots during a, a nice party or get together, and it's a real real good whiskey to do do shots with or just just sip on. Uh, I typically don't mix it with anything i i'm a big irish whiskey fan and i, I recently got the chance to to try out some uh green spot irish whiskey green spot is is um M mitchell mitchell and sons from uh, in 1805 they've been around for been around for a while and and what the they also make yellow spot and blue spot i believe yellow spot is a is a 12 year old uh irish whiskey but this is triple distilled uh from a a single pot and what that means basically is a single pot is a, is a kind of a style of Irish whiskey uh, made by a still brewery, a single brewery, a single distillery from like a mix, mix mash of, of malted um, barley and distilled and obviously a single pot. Uh, it's somewhat similar to single malt whiskey, uh, but uh, the style was defined um, by the inclusion of unmalted raw barley. And, and like most whiskeys, the minimum to uh, to be called a Irish pot still whiskey is is forty percent, kind of like a, a bourbon is. So Green Spot is is something I've, I'm new to. Uh, I was introduced to it by a fellow Irishman at work who who said Green Spot is is the preferred go to for him and his family. And um, it's a little bit rarer to find. I did I couldn't find it in my local uh, liquor store. I actually had to order it off of Caskers. So, so thank you. I think I paid $65, $65 for it. So it's not cheap by any means, but it's not super ultra expensive. You're not dropping a Benjamin on it. Uh, and, and it's a great Irish whiskey to have, again, with friends. Uh, I always drink my Irish whiskey neat, but you, you enjoy it however you'd like. And the green spot is kind of apropos because when you do, when you do try it, when you do try it, you're going to... The first thing you're going to smell, well, the first thing that I smell is, is a green apple. It literally is a green apple type uh, flavor. It, it's really, it smells just like green apple. Um, and you have to remember too, right? Like when, you, when you're trying out new whiskeys, try to not put anything in your mind when you're smelling it for the first time. Or when you're smelling it after a while, it doesn't really matter. I've, I've got different tones from different whiskeys that I've been drinking for years that I hadn't um, smelled before. But the first time I opened this, uh, this, this whiskey, this green spot, I never, I know I don't have the right glass for smelling, but this is what I'm drinking out of today. The first thing I smelled was I put everything out of my brain when I smell a new Irish whiskey or smell any whiskey or bourbon or, or scotch. And I tried not to figure it out. I tried to let it come to me. And you know, your right brain doesn't have any, it's, it's that artistic side of the brain. It's not logical by any means. It just associates smell with maybe a memory or, a, uh, or, or something tangible. And, and the first thing I smelled what was apple literally was apple and and it was very like a sweet apple like a, maybe a caramel type apple it's it's sweet it's on the sweeter side of irish whiskeys it doesn't have as much heat as as say like a a jameson or or maybe a bushmills it's uh, it's it's smoother. I, obviously, it's triple distilled, which helps take some of that that bite out of it. But it's um, there's no artificial coloring. You can you can see that it's, um, it's a great amber color to it. It's a great amber color. 
green spot Irish whiskey. This, this is a whiskey I would probably drink. Um, I could smoke my cigar and drink this. Drink this Irish whiskey. It certainly has a uh, a refined taste to it compared to a Bushmills or a Jameson. If you haven't stepped up into the level of of green spot, I say give it a shot. It's to to me, it's one of my it's one of my new favorite go to Irish whiskeys. I'm a whiskey guy, a bourbon guy, a Scotch whiskey guy, um, also an Irish whiskey guy. My typical bar- go to is, is bourbon. So when I want a little more distinct. Um, distinct smell and or character it's a very pretty lighter type of whiskey even though it's 40 percent it doesn't feel like 40 percent it doesn't feel like 80 proof green spot uh irish whiskey is is once well here i'm gonna read the bottle too once almost extinct the legendary whiskey is a rare taste of pot still irish whiskey as its best matured in american bourbon and sherry casks this is a whiskey of immense flavor and complexity a splendid choice i agree patrick kelly like beards and booze have a great day and thanks for watching the video if you like it please hit like if you really like it please hit subscribe i really appreciate it